The Deputy Premier's publicity events on Cross River Rail have again been hijacked by an Adani protester. Today, Jackie Trad's industry briefing was in the firing line. Lauren Day has the details. It was a media conference to spruik the private industry hopping on board at Cross River Rail, but Jackie Trad's party was gate crashed for the second time in a week. I've got my $5,000, which what everyone else pays to come and you know see you and chat about these issues. And a Dali protest throwing an infrastructure briefing off track. I'm allowed to be, excuse me. You're not on the register. Excuse me, that's called assault if you touch me. Excuse me, Miss Trad, you haven't answered the question. Despite security personnel, Nell being present, the protester was allowed to stay, continuing to interrupt her. Look, it's green. It's the only green concern she listen to whether it's environment or Adani I or even actually, I think that's actually quite abhorrent. He was eventually escorted out by police. It comes after revelations a religious ceremonial sword known as a kerpen was worn onto school grounds last year. A Sikh grandfather was given permission after a school principal checked with police. They determined, uh, based on their reading of the legislation, that uh, it, was, it was appropriate. And what's been found is this advice was clearly incorrect. The opposition says the school principal shouldn't be punished, but someone further up the chain in the education department needs to take responsibility. As Tim Nichols sunk his teeth mm -hmm. into the LNP's pre-election campaign. Lauren Day, 10 Eyewitness News.